Hello everyone, this is Hector Mestre. Today I want to talk to you about the AirPods Pro 2 and give my own personal opinion. I want to start off by saying that I am very satisfied with the overall sound quality of the AirPods Pro 2. I am very comfortable knowing that all the frequencies are very balanced, the lows, the mids, and the highs giving me a very detailed picture of the sound and my mixes or mastering. A lot of people think that by having a lot of lows is a very good thing, but what they don't know is that by having a lot of lows, it can make your mixes much darker. Now, this could be a serious issue throwing you way off eventually from the goal that you have. Now, let me clarify something. Having lows is not a bad thing as long as balanced with the mids and highs. I really don't see myself reaching in for some sort of EQ to change the sound on my AirPods Pro 2. I think they are very well balanced, providing all the frequencies very good, and I'm able to hear everything very detailed. As a mix and mastering engineer, I am very confident on using this AirPods Pro 2 daily for my work. I am always looking for different sources to review my work and the uh, AirPods Pro 2 have been pretty accurate and reliable. I think this is something else to have in my arsenal on the go. I really like how wide the soundstage is and how detailed the Adobe mixes can sound. I know Bluetooth tends to compress the sound a little bit, but this does a good job at it not bothering me at all. I see myself using the AirPods Pro 2 for a good amount of time. Lows are very good on bass and kicks, mid-range helps vocals, snares and guitars cut through, and highs are very detailed with string sections, cymbals, and synth. Overall, I am very satisfied with the AirPods Pro 2. Go ahead and give me your own opinion. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, turn on your notifications, and if you have any questions, just write them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.